This is the town of Keta in eastern Ghana. Fishing is the main source of income for families here. But over the past decade, the sea that used to provide is now threatening to destroy. The sea has crept closer to where communities live and work. Houses are regularly flooded. In places like uh, Keta and Adan, you have uh, the, the shoreline being breached and the sea actually extending so many meters into homes, destroying livelihoods and taking away all that people have fought for. I mean, their entire livelihoods, which also means that people are migrating from those communities to find inexistent green pastures in the capital cities. Other communities along the coast have also been affected by rising sea levels. Thousands of people are frequently being displaced. The Ghanaian government has said that it will invest up to 100 million US dollars to build a sea defence system which should go some way to protect the homes of people in the affected areas. But environmentalists say the government needs to do more to tackle the root causes of climate change which are already having an impact in other areas and not just by the sea. We have uh, the manifestation of climate change in uh, drought, in especially the northern part of Ghana, which is affecting agriculture. We have a lot of rainfall uh, in other parts of Ghana, which is also affecting agriculture. When you put all together, you are having uh, crop yield being affected immensely, which means that food is becoming very expensive and food security amongst vulnerable people become an issue that uh, you need to really take a good look at. The rising sea levels don't just destroy homes. Families can be cut off from vital services, things like medical care. And with limited resources, some simply can't afford to abandon the place they grew up. Katerina Vitozzi, CCTV, Ketagana.